This video will guide you how to wipe the cache partition on your Samsung Galaxy A53, which will delete the temporary system files Android has created so that they will be replaced with new ones. So if you're ready, follow these steps to delete the contents of the cache partition. To begin, turn your phone off. You can pull down the quick settings panel and tap the power icon. Once the power menu shows, tap power off and then confirm you want to power it off. Make sure to wait for the slight vibration, which is a sign that the phone has completely powered down. Wait for a few of seconds and then press and hold the volume up button and the power key together for a few seconds. Once the Samsung logo appears, release both keys and allow your phone to continue booting up until it reaches the recovery mode. You will know if your phone is in recovery mode when you see yellow and blue text over a black background. While in the recovery screen, press the volume down button a few times until the option wipe cache partition is highlighted. Press the power key to select it. After that, highlight yes and then press the power key again to wipe the cache partition. It will only take a couple of seconds before the cache partition's contents are deleted, and you will be brought back to the previous screen. At this point, you just need to restart your phone so that it will rebuild a new set of cache. So press the power key to select Reboot System now. It might take a little longer for your phone to finish rebooting, but once it's done, you can continue using it. However, if you're one of the users that are brought back to the lock screen instead of the Android system recovery screen, then plug in the USB-C headset and then power down your phone again. After that, try holding down the volume up and power keys again until the Samsung logo shows. And that's how you wipe the cache partition on your Galaxy A53. We hope that this tutorial can help you one way or another. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.